Hi, welcome to our channel. Today we are going to read The Bear and the Dog by May Angel. It was the end of winter and the day had barely started. Doc Blink smoothed his fears and Stretch he took running start ready to fly off. But his legs and wings got all tangled up and he rolled head over heels until a crash. He landed beak first in a jumble of a branch. The racket started to veer from his slumber. What's going on? He grumbled. It is spring already? And he went back to sleep. But all around him, the world was starting to thaw out, swelling and rather rumbled. Bear finally emerged from his den. Duck winced in the pain, but barely called out, Come any closer and I will break your head. Bear chuckled and shrugged his shoulder. Are you afraid that I will bite you? I'm far too old and I don't have many teeth left. Then help get me off out of here, Doc said. Or I am going to pass out. Bear gently freed the bird and scooped him with his big paws. Nothing broken, just a few scratch will make you better. First, let's find you some shelter, Bear said. My dean would be best. Bear placed Doc on his old bedding. It is a bit messy, but it's comfortable. Stay here and don't move, he told Doc. I have got some things to take care of. After a good scratch, Bear smoothed down his scruffy coat of fur and disappeared. The first buds were bursting and from the last batch of snow. The violet's perfume filled the air. Bear ate some and brought some back for a duck, who flinched when Bear placed the food front of him. I am also thirsty, duck whispered. Of course, Bear muttered and went to find the water. After a few days, Duck was finally well enough to leave the dean. The two went for a walk, with the duck riding on a bear's back, and while a bear bathed, duck splashed around, sometimes lying in the grass. Duck would buff up his chest and start a story. He would tell stories about escaping fearsome hunters and the flying past mountain. That's a trash up to touch the moon. Bear would grunt, admiring duck stories or listen to with one ear as he does. While the dog gone, the day seemed empty. Bear missed his friend. He ate even thought he wasn't hungry. Then came to the icy winds and the first snow just like every year before Bear settled into his den. I may never see Doc again, but I guess that is life as they say when sad things happen and the Bear falls asleep for a long winter. Bear woke up to the sound of dove singing. It's spring. He stepped outside to crush his deaf body and decided to have a bath. What a flip bag, he thought to himself. Peter ate some grass, then warmed by the first ray of the sun. He lay down and closed his eye. 
Mike had been dream a quack a quack. That is when he heard voice in his ear. Come on, get up, old bear. It's me. I am back. It is about time. Bear replied grumbly. Ducks truck bear head. They sat side by side. I have so many things to tell you. Duck began. But no, you go first. The end. And they stay together. Don't forget to visit your friend as much as you can. Thank you for watching.